Hello, once again, this is uh, part two. I actually had to make another one because I didn't quite explain everything that's going on with these babies. Um, my previous video, they're actually about five or six days old. So the other ones, uh, if you want to see real quick, they haven't physically hatched all the way yet. I mean, it, it's still sitting, so they got for a while until June, I think. Um, what I was going to show is I got some new fruit flies in from Petco.com uh, and they uh, sell, these are really small and they actually, I threw some in there today and he went right at it and uh, uh, for the other guys, worried that just, when they hatch you don't really need to worry too much, you just let most of them go and keep two or three and, and just separate them. And put them in small little containers. When they get bigger, then you can put, you know, leaves and branches and all that stuff in there. But they're small. You, you have to keep them kind of like the way these are right now. Because I had the branches and stuff. And then it, it they were, the bugs were hiding. And they couldn't see them. And it just wasn't working. So, um, I mean, I've got a lot in there. You don't really need to put that many in there. So, um, but let me show you those real quick. This is, you get a box. They ship them to you in FedEx. And, uh, and what you get is you, uh, they give you the, uh, uh, this is a fruit fly mix by the fruit fly company. Uh, this is where you can make your own cultures, which is pretty sweet. And they give you two plain empty containers so you can make some more. So you have plenty. And then uh, this is the one they sent. The, uh, well, that's not it. Uh, this is the one right here they sent me. And it's already got the culture in there, and it's got lots of fruit flies in there. I mean, there's just, I don't know if you can see the video, you can see them moving around. There's a lot in there. And, uh, and they're a lot smaller than the, uh, the ones at the Petco store I physically went in there and got. So I ordered these, and they come pretty quick. And uh, there's lots of bugs in there. So if you don't have a, a, a pet store around, this is the best way to go. And you can, and plus you can keep, uh, this stuff lasts, I think it says, uh, three to five weeks. So when this starts wearing out, you always keep some in the container when you're feeding them so you, so you can, you know, keep laying eggs. And then you take those and put them in a new culture and it starts the whole process again and get lots of them. It depends on how many you're going to have. So, I mean, these guys, when they get bigger, of course, you move on to bigger stuff. You, uh, when I get doing the fruit flies, I've already set up, I have the, uh, the cricket stuff set up already. I've got the the cricket cricket keeper. You can get it at the at PetSmart's where I got those. I got some other nicer containers for them, so they get a little bit bigger. And I got some cricket, uh, uh, you know, water and some food and stuff, so they help fatten the, the calcium for the uh, prey mantis, so they'll be really healthy. Um, so let's see if we can see him a little bit better. I, I'm using a better camera today. So, uh, yeah, when they're babies, you let them, let them hang out. Uh, they usually say about two to, uh, one to two days after hatching, just let them be. They're not going to attack each other right off the bat. They'll just kind of fight a little bit, but they won't attack each other. But you have to kind of let them, uh, I guess, mature a little bit because they just, you know, hatched and they're still kind of fragile, but usually give about two days and then you can pull, you know, let them go and keep the other ones you want. And uh, you have no problems. So you have plenty of time to get them to start eating and drinking and stuff like that. So don't be in a big hurry. And nature will take its course. So um, the sponge, I just cut off little corners of a normal sponge using the... Uh, oh, look. He just got one. I didn't even have to do anything. You actually physically get to see one. One of the fruit flies. He just grabbed it. So this guy is... He's, been, <laughs> he's just good. Let's see here. Yeah, they, I tell you what, they can't make cameras work. Yeah, let's see if I can move a little closer. No, not gonna work. Anyways, since it, since we were talking about it, he just grabbed one. So uh, don't really have to rush it. I mean, after they get used to it, they're they're gonna start feeding themselves, and it's not a big deal. You just make sure you keep the bugs in there, and then uh, every once in a while, take them out, clean the clean the uh, jar. Don't use soap. Or not, like, just hot water to clean it. Don't use soap because stuff like that can probably hurt them. So just wipe them out, clean them. Because they do poop inside there and you just kind of wipe it up and clean it. And then put them right back in there. So uh, it's real easy to do. So uh, 
So start off with small containers because they're so small and uh, so they can get the bugs and eat them. Uh, you don't need to put that many in there, but they do eat a lot. That's probably his third one today. So uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, I'm going down the road just like I'll probably keep on doing some more videos uh, when they get a little bit bigger and stuff like that. So, uh, but do note when they're young, like I said in my first video, their bodies are see-through. That's normal. That's the way it's supposed to be. It just, you know, when they start eating is when their body starts to darken. So I just want to clarify that so you don't sit there and go, oh, you know, it's not dark yet. So, well, <laughs> they have to eat first where they're going to start getting darker. So, um, but I did actually have one, uh, I had a third one and he was just real stubborn. He did not want to eat. So I, I didn't even wait. I just let him go. Um. But this guy, right off the bat, I mean, even when I put a fruit fly in there with the rest of the, when they were hatching, he went after it. So I kept an eye on him the whole time. So he's, that might be a female. I don't know. But you can learn on the segments. There's like six seg segments. is a girl and I think eight. I think it starts with the back legs. But you have to wait a little bit older until you can start counting to see if it's a male or female. But just do more research on the, uh, the web. That's what I did. And, uh. But uh, all you have to do is, if you don't have these fruit flies right now, which is helping me out because it got a little cold outside for some reason, you can catch these bugs anywhere outside by a light. They're so easy and, uh, and it costs you nothing. And you just keep doing that every night. That's what I do. And I throw them in there because you can go all day long and they're fine. You don't have to feed them during the day. You can feed them at night. So it's, it's not a big deal. And uh, you'll get a hang of it. And uh, oh, he looks like he's about to go after one there. But anyways, if you have any other questions, just uh, leave, leave me a comment.